Good morning from Los Angeles. That is the first time I've ever said that. This is my first ever time in this city. Never been to LA before, neither has Tom. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I ever would have come if I hadn't have got these Taylor tickets. Like, the reason that we wanted to come to LA kind of was more for convenience. Like, it's the nearest major city on the west coast of America to Australia. Um, but anyway. <laughs> It means that we are here and of course we're trying to make the most out of it so we're spending like i think five or six days here one two three four yeah six days exploring la and the surrounding areas we've just got to the hotel we had a super early morning flight this morning like we were at the airport for 5 30 uh, in san francisco which meant we got here for like 10 30 we've just spent an hour like in the hotel freshening up we actually can't check in yet are we lost no. so we just like got changed and now we're gonna go into the city. Because Taylor Swift is playing in LA all of this week, so like straight across the dates that we're here, the entire city was so booked up so far in advance, which meant that we're actually staying a little bit out. So I did so much research on like, where's safe to stay, that's like the suburbs, like if we're not staying in the city itself, where, where can we get like easy access public transport? And basically we're staying kind of near the Grove shopping center, if any of you are familiar with LA. But anyway, right now we're about to go and get a bus. Don't know how this is gonna work. And head into, I think the center. Like we've rooted it to the Hollywood Walk of Fame because I feel as though that's what everybody sort of knows and everybody sort of does like the first day that they arrive here. And again, I'm very sorry about the lighting. You've worn the LA top. I should have worn the LA top. Well, instead I popped this one on. It says, angels are real. We're in the city of angels. So that was my little nod to LA. I've got this terrible tacky top that says Los Angeles, but I was like, <laughs> no, I don't think I Wear that. We've been trying to cross this road for about five minutes. We started over there, we had to wait to cross here, then we had to wait to cross here, then we had to wait to cross here. Very good crossing spot, they're so funny. Oh, it's finally our go. Go, go, go. We have come straight to the Hollywood Walk of Fame because we didn't really know where to start and I feel like this is a really good place. I've not done that much research into LA because I feel like I've accidentally already done all of it by watching YouTube for the last 10 years of my life. So many people have come here. So I thought we'd start down here, have a wander down Hollywood Boulevard and find somewhere to maybe get some food. Okay, so we're at the famous Chinese theatre. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've seen this before because this is actually also in Disney's Hollywood Studios uh, in Florida and maybe in Paris as well, actually. But yeah, I guess it makes sense because we are on Hollywood Boulevard for them to put it in Hollywood Studios, but I'm not too sure really the significance of it. But we have stopped in Wahlburgers to get some lunch quite quickly because we just decided we're gonna do the open top famous houses tour which I have seen so many people do here before that you've probably heard of it but if you haven't you basically go around and like do a tour of like the area where the celebrities live. I don't really know how to describe it but I guess you'll see. But first I'm getting this mac and cheese. So we organized this little guided tour. We actually just organized this while we were on Hollywood Boulevard. Like somebody asked if we wanted to do it. We paid $60 for both of us and it was basically like this open Open top mini bus that drove us all around the famous film locations in Beverly Hills and also all of the famous like celebrity houses that are kind of in this area it is honestly guys so stunning I've never seen any houses like this anywhere else it is unreal and it also took us down Rodeo Drive and some of the more classic iconic LA spots we rented it out to another late celebrity the late Michael Jackson in the pop Michael lived here the last few years of his life. This was his in-town location for convenience. But if anybody on this vein has ever seen the movie Pretty Woman, remember when she had to go shopping with Julia Roberts? Hmm. Well, she went into this store right here with the red flag. The ladies in the store, yeah. they told her, I'm sorry, miss, you're going to have to leave. We don't serve your type here. So she goes back to the hotels, complained to that Hector Elizondo, the hotel manager, and Richard Gere that she wasn't able to buy clothes. Olivia Newton-John, the grease scene was right there on those bleachers. He was wearing that black leather jacket with the studs on it, I believe, and had the oily hair, and he fell down or something. There we go, guys. Our first time ever seeing the Hollywood sign. And I'm not going to lie, it sort of looks like a fake backdrop, but there it is. Hello from a refreshed me. I don't look refreshed, I look the same because I haven't yet showered, which actually might be disgusting, but we're going back out and it's still so warm and I thought, you know what? I'm still gonna have to put some cream on, we'll shower later. Tom's laying on the bed behind me. We have checked into the hotel room. Now something exciting that I've not told you about this leg of our trip 
is my friend or our friend johanna is actually joining us this was the most spontaneous thing right so we were in thailand we'd already booked all of this and johanna was trying to get tickets for the australian leg of the era's tour and she wasn't sure she was going to manage it and she was panicking and we were sat one evening and we were like oh you should just come to la like go to the second night with with me because tom's coming on the first night and obviously tom was going to come on the second night um, and he was like no 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 i'm going on the first night like it should go to you like kind of started out with a hypothetical joke not joking that she should have the ticket joking that she should come bear in mind johanna's actually from new zealand and would have been in new zealand so we were like oh you should come to la if you don't get tickets and johanna went okay i'm gonna come to la and we were like oh my god okay you're gonna come to la so then this whole thing turned into an actual plan and right up until this very day i kind of thought maybe she won't do that maybe that's not gonna be a real thing but we have been chatting back and forth about outfits obviously the same applies from australia and new zealand the next like land is the west coast of america which is where we are so although it's a long long journey she's coming to join us and i'm so excited she's actually been to la before so that's kind of nice because we haven't so it's going to be really handy um we have basically just sorted it so that she's going to stay with us this was like the most random thing but it's just amazing i love it we had the best time together in thailand i've known johanna for just over a year but you know when you meet somebody and you just immediately click with them like from the very first conversation with johanna when i met her in Reese, we were on a true travel tour from the very first chat i was like we got on so well like we have so much in common it was like i'd known her my entire life and i'd met her that day and i was like this is yes the downside of that friendship is she lives in new zealand and i'm usually in the uk so right now we're closer as it is in time zones because obviously we're in australia so this whole thing really just pulled itself together so her flight lands in at like midnight tonight so we're about to go out for dinner and then i'm gonna come back and do some work and stay up until her flight gets in so that i can like be here to meet her and to like bring her up and all of that sort of stuff but yeah so fun so random so last minute but the best kind of plan so this is tom here is the room it's actually really quite spacious which is good we've got a table and chairs but i think we're gonna pop johanna's bed here they very kindly wheeled it in for us this was great we did have to pay extra for it but i was quite worried they wouldn't do it because some hotels are a bit fussy on like having three people in a room got a table and chairs this massive mirror space which is amazing and gonna be so good for getting ready for the era's tour and then we also have a massive bathroom which is actually really nice very american has a very low down bath that's basically at ground level and then yeah toilet i think this is a wardrobe i've not actually looked at this oh more space that's good yeah our plan now is we're gonna head to santa monica for the evening which is one of the beachy like famous beach areas in la and they have the really famous santa monica pier and it stretches out to sea i think we're just gonna go for a wander there really we're using the bus system it costs a dollar 75 for every ride so we're using this because it's cheap and there's just nothing cheap about the states like there's no cheap way of getting around but to be fair to them their public transport is cheap now it feels kind of sketchy it feels a bit ropey sometimes like i'm not sure we're gonna ride it back because it's gonna be dark but we're just gonna see like it's really really easy and there's a bus stop right outside so so we are in santa monica but the weather just drastically changed whilst we were on the bus it like got gradually more cloudy and cloudy and now guys oh this is wholesome now i'm actually cold i brought a shirt thinking i know what i'm like i'll probably get chilly and i'm bloody glad that i did but now i'm like god i wish i brought my hoodie no i didn't change the jeans i just kept shorts on and a t-shirt so it's nice when we left it's and, cold. Uh, I'm cold. Oh, there's a big Doc Martens. There's a massive Doc Martens. I'm not gonna lie, I imagine it would look nicer if the sky was blue, but it's giving Brighton Beach. Maybe not even as nice as Brighton Beach. Oh my god, is that an awful thing to say? There's a lot of cool stuff going on, but I definitely think if the sky was blue, it would maybe be a little bit more impressive. It's a massive beach. No, it's a huge beach. And also the, the like headland over there looks really stunning, but we obviously can't see it. But like from what I can see, I imagine that would look really nice if there was like a gorgeous sunset down over here. So don't take my word. Come and see this for yourself if you're ever in LA, because I think maybe we've just caught it on a bad day. Go on, Tom, sing the song. Get your geeks on 66. So this is Santa Monica Pier. And as you can see, it's very, very busy. It's like 7 p.m. on a Sunday evening as well. So if any time was going to be quiet, I would imagine. I mean, I guess it is the weekend, but like, yeah, I don't know, it's busy. Food has arrived. 
side, I've got quesadillas. Tom's got like loaded fries. Does that have beef on it? Yeah. Beef and cheese. It's a hamburger loaded fries. Hamburger loaded fries. Very American. So the restaurant we were just in was called Barney's Beanery, and it's just here on the main high street in Santa Monica. It was just kind of like an American diner kind of place, but it was pretty reasonably priced. Okay, good morning. Uh, I have just got up. I've washed my hair, so it's still a bit wet. But guys, we have a guest. Look who arrived in the middle of the night. <laughs> Johanna got here at like, what time was it? God, Late. Like, <laughs> like one. one in the yeah, and um, then we stayed up even later and we watched the England game and stuff and basically had a super late night. But we've had a bit of a lion. I'm feeling refreshed actually. I don't know if I'm going to crash at like 3 pm. I do feel like I could. Right now, we're up. It's still the morning and we're going to go to the Beechwood Cafe. The Beechwood Cafe. Don't sing. <laughs> Um, which, if you don't know, which I hope you do, is mentioned in Falling by Harry Styles. And I feel like, oh, I thought that was your ring. I thought that was your ring going down the sink there. Yeah, it's in Falling by Harry Styles. And basically for the next three days, I'm just living my best fangirl life as if I'm 14 years old. And I actually don't care. So we're going to go there and then we're going to hike the Hollywood sign. So hopefully there's going to be some good views in the next section of the vlog. Because I've seen it before on YouTube and stuff and it looks pretty amazing. I don't know how much of a hike it's actually going to be, but I've heard it. it is actually a bit of a walk a bit of a trek but we're gonna get some food first so we'll see how it goes so we are at the beachwood cafe getting breakfast and it looks so good johanna's gone for french toast tom's got chocolate chip pancakes and i have gone for avocado and egg i do kind of wish i got sweet now but i've had a lot of sweet breakfast since we got to america but this looks so good also the cafe inside is really cute i do really like the vibe and the coffee was not out in the beachwood cafe we are in beachwood which i think is like a little suburb i'm not really too sure but it's obviously where the cafe is but also there's so many nice houses here and me and johanna are like I wish they were like open houses so that you could go inside them and just have a little look around because honestly these are like obviously not as big as the mansions on Beverly Hills. I kind of prefer them because they're like actual dream houses rather than a mansion. Like obviously a mansion would be a dream house but it's a very unattainable goal whereas these are like actually just beautiful houses and they look kind of like cottages oh like are you joking me look at that house and the door and the ivy oh we've made it guys i think we're maybe not going to go too much further than this because i do sort of think the view is of the sign is it not so going all the way up to it you're not going to see the sign we might walk a little bit further into this park but this viewpoint is called griffith park and it's just like kind of up from beechwood if any of you were wondering specifically where. We walked up from the Beechwood Cafe and it took 20 minutes. And this is pretty insane. This might be one of the most iconic vlog backgrounds I've ever filmed with. And Johanna and I have succeeded in our Miley Cyrus best mission of looking to the right. My right currently, apparently. It looks different on camera. I'm getting a bit confused about which way is left and which way is right on camera. Um, and seeing the Hollywood sign is what I was gonna say. And do you know what? The guy in the taxi was like, oh, it's quite anticlimactic. But I actually think that, I mean, it's not worth like, in my opinion, trekking the whole way to the top. But to come and see it, I do think it's pretty iconic. Like, this is Los Angeles, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're in, in Hollywood, and that's crazy. Anyway, maybe that just sounds like the most British tourist thing to say ever, but completed it. This might be my favorite wall in the whole of LA right now. We've got every single Taylor Swift album up on the wall. This is uh, on the corner of Melrose and Stanley, I think it's called. I'm not really too sure the name of the street. But basically, all of these are the partnerships with Spotify from when they did their top five. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of people getting photos, especially down here. These albums seem to be the more popular ones. Okay guys, it's been a little while. I've got changed, I've not worn this dress for a while. This was one of my options for the Eras tour actually, because I do think it's quite speak now. And as much as I love the dress, it definitely was a backup, but it's just not quite the vibe I was going for. But I thought I'd wear it tonight because we have decided that, that instead of going for dinner, because there are a lot of lovely restaurants and we definitely do want to go to some of them, I don't really know when, but it is so expensive and there's still so many places that we've not seen. And somewhere we really fancied going was the Griffith Park Observatory. And apparently the view of the city at sunset is insane there. And we obviously didn't get the sunset last night at Santa Monica. So we have decided we're gonna go to Whole Foods take a picnic rug and have a picnic in the Griffith Park Observatory and watch the sunset, which I just think is so cute. So Johanna and I have got changed. I kind of, I'm going for like garden party vibes and we're just gonna go and buy some dinner and watch the sun go down. And I just think that's gonna be like so cute. So I'm excited. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that actually will be a sunset tonight because last night it was not the one. <laughs> 
have the picnic and the view. Here we are, this is the Griffith Observatory and this is our current setup. I'm so glad I have this picnic rug with me in my suitcase because this is like so cute and wholesome, man. And then over here, we have the Hollywood Hills of the Hollywood sign. Johanna's is so happy she's practically running. She is running. Go, slay. <laughs> So what you don't see, the behind the scenes of the nice instance is us <laughs> fighting the wasps off. We're gonna have to get one slice at a time and then close the lid, close the lid, get them out, get them out. <laughs> oh no, we've made a huge oh mistake. God. This is so beautiful. If you ever get time in LA, come up to the Griffith Observation Deck, observatory even at sunset, because it is just 10, 10, with or without the wasps. It would have been a 10 out of 10 pizza if it was still warm, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> look at what Tom is laughing at. <laughs> Let's see how well. <laughs> That's actually just, how old are you? That is quite funny though, isn't it? No. Okay, we are going for a little wander around it now it's dark. We've finished eating, it's got a bit chilly, so we thought we'd get up and have a walk around before we go back, but isn't it beautiful? We are having such a good time. Oh my God. Saturn, the beauty, the moon, and Saturn. Slay. Ah. This is unreal guys. This is probably maybe bar New York the most lights I've ever seen anywhere In fact, no, maybe including New York like this is a different kind of landscape because in every single direction literally every which way I'm seeing light pollution. That is wow, and you can see the plane moving as well This is the most incredible view <sighs> I'm literally so happy right now. It's like now. a Coldplay concert. It's like a Coldplay concert <laughs> I realised once again I didn't end this vlog and I am now back from LA editing the vlog and I'm like I don't have an end clip for the vlog but I wanted to do a quick little summary because watching this back and editing it I was like wow this looks so amazing and like <laughs> not the vlog definitely not that but the, the city like I feel as though everything I filmed was like a real highlight of LA like we really enjoyed the kind of like guided tour of the famous houses and the Griffith Observatory was really beautiful as well obviously the Taylor Swift Melrose mural and also the, the Hollywood sign they are like real highlights of LA what I do want to stress that I think maybe sometimes doesn't come across on YouTube and I definitely have watched vlogs where I'm like, wow, they make LA look so amazing. Personally, for me, and I don't say this about that many places, I don't think I would go back or go back very quickly, unless I had a specific reason to be there, kind of how we had reason to be there this time. Like, I'm not sure I would really hurry back to this city. And that's no disrespect at all. It's just somewhere that, kind of similar to what I said in my San Francisco vlog, I didn't feel like 100% safe. Um, and I really haven't felt that in many places. Like, Tom and I have traveled a lot of different cities, a lot of different countries over the last year, and there's not very many places where I actually feel like a little bit unsafe. California as a whole, I would say maybe did have that feeling. These are just my personal opinions. This is literally just how I felt. I had the best time here because I obviously loved going to see Taylor Swift and the touristy elements and the touristy locations in LA obviously are beautiful and touristy for a reason and you know it's like walking straight onto a film set literally like it's shiny, it's glamorous, it's it's Beverly Hills and I didn't just quote Taylor Swift deliberately but it is like that's what that is it's like wow look at this people come here to be somebody like this is where celebrities come to be celebrities but I do think if you look away from that I didn't love it and that's just a personal opinion to be honest like this is not me trying to put you off going not me trying to convince you to go like neither this is just how I felt and I would love to hear your thoughts if you've been let me know because I, I do have friends that have been and have loved it so much and said that it's like their favorite holiday destination their favorite city and I absolutely do think there would be different sides to it depending on where you're going who you're going with who you know there how much money you're willing to spend because a lot of it is like well if you've got money you could definitely do way more it's quite an exclusive feeling city but personally for me that's kind of my first impressions and i'm sorry if you clicked on this vlog kind of thinking that it was going to be like a glamorous overview because there definitely is that side to it and i kind of wanted to add this in at the end because watching it back myself i thought wow i really made it look kind of glossy when that's not really how it felt. Um, so yeah, just trying to bring a little bit of equilibrium to the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. There is gonna be one more Los Angeles based vlog. I think this is my favorite. Of all of the America vlogs that aren't the Taylor Swift vlog, I think the next one is my favorite um, because you may have seen on my Instagram, we actually went to Disney California and 
that really was a lovely day and that really was probably my favorite location in los angeles so that vlog's coming next um i hope you do enjoy that one subscribe so that you don't miss it give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it too and as i mentioned let me know if you've been to la what your thoughts were but other than that i'm gonna go and i shall see you in my next video on my channel which will be up very soon bye guys